Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is Estimate Fractions and Sums and Differences right here. So this is our third lesson of Chapter 6, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at Mr. Math Blog. And if you guys can, would you click like on this video? That just helps encourage me uh, to keep making these. And here's our Common Core strand, and our question is, how can we make reasonable estimates of fractions, uh, of fractions, sums, and differences? Sums means we add, differences means we subtract. So I kind of like this lesson because we're just estimating you guys. So here's one. Ralph will be writing his skateboard to school. The distance from his house to the corner is one-sixth of a mile. The distance from the corner to school is three-eighths of a mile. So he's going to the corner and then to school. So it looks like we're going to be adding these fractions. So about how far is Ralph's ha uh, house from school? All right, so we can use the benchmarks to find reasonable estimates by uh, rounding the fractions to these benchmarks, uh, zero, a half, or one right there. So we're just going to estimate these. So we're going to estimate uh, one-sixth plus one-third. Let me slide that up right there. All right, so right there in the middle is one-half right there. Okay, and since we're going to divide this up into, uh, let's let's deal with the sixth right here, you guys. So let's place one sixth uh, on the number line right here. All right, so um, if this is going to be one half, this is going to be three six right in the middle right there. Okay, and this will be zero six, and this will be six six. Remember, any number over itself equals one right here, and zero over any number equals zero. Okay, so right somewhere around here is going to be one six. Somewhere around here is going to be two. Six. Six, here's three six and then just think about trying to cut it up into thirds so here's four six here would be five six something like that okay so there would be the one six two six three six so now let's place one sixth on there so we put a point right there now notice one six uh, the fraction um, one six is between uh, the benchmarks zero and a half right here and it's closer to the benchmark is this closer to a half or is it closer to zero it's closer to zero so let's round it to zero okay now let's do the same thing with three eighths all right so Here's a half right here, so this is going to be 0 eighths, this is going to be 8 eighths, and right here in the middle is going to be half eighths, which is going to be 4 eighths right there, okay? Now, we're going to cut these up into 4, so if we cut it in half right there, there would be uh, 2 eighths, and then half of that would be 1 eighth, and then half of that would be 3 eighths right there, okay? So there's the 2 eighths and the, and the 6 eighths and the 1 eighth, the, the 2 eighths, the 3 eighths. Whoops, I forgot to put my little fractions in there, but you get the gist right there. There's a little fraction right there, and there should be a little fraction right there. So anyways fraction bar. So let's place 3 eighths on the number line right there. So uh, 3 eighths is between the benchmarks 0 and a half also. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and send it now. Is 3 eighths closer to 0 or is it closer to a half? 3 eighths is closer to the benchmark a half, so we're going to go ahead and round that to a half right there. Okay, so now we'll add the rounded fraction. So remember, 1 6 was closer to 0, 3 eighths was closer to a half, so 0 plus 1 half equals 1 half. Okay, so Ralph's house is about 1 half of a mile to school. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Let's try that again, you guys. We can compare the numerator and denominator to round fractions and find a reasonable estimate. So here, um, we have 9 tenths minus 5 eighths. Okay, well, I uh, think 9 tenths, you guys, think that the numerator is almost as big as the denominator. Well, we did that. Remember before, you guys, if you have fractions where the numerator over the denominator is the same number, they always equal 1. So we're going to round this one. This is almost 1 because 9 is close to 10. So we'll round the fraction to 1. Okay, and then um, 5 eighths, think the numerator 5 is about half the denominator. It's a little bit more, but but four uh, four eighths would be one half. So we'll round this fraction to one half right there. So um, we'll go ahead and subtract. So nine eighths. Well, we we rounded it to one, and then five eighths we rounded it to a half. So one minus one half is a half. Okay, so 9 tenths minus 5 eighths is going to be about a half right there. Okay, it doesn't say find exactly, but it does say, that, but it is, a, or it said uh, give us an estimate of it. All right, so let's estimate uh, these sums and differences. So over here we have 2 and 7 eighths minus 2 fifths. Okay, 
This 7 8, remember 7 is close to 8, so this 7 8 is close to 1. So this 2 and 1 is the same as about 3. And 2.5 is the half of 5 right here, so 2 is close, or 2 is close to being half of 5. So we'll round this to a half right here. We're going to round this to 3 and round it to a half, and then uh, 3 minus a half is going to be 2 and a half. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's do that again. 8 is close to 9, so this rounds to 1 with this 1, so this is going to be 2. And this is pretty close to uh, 1 right here, so we'll round this to 1 plus 4 is, is 5. So we, we uh, have 2 plus 5, which is going to give us 7 right there. All right, you guys. Hey, if you guys can find us, that would be cool, and take care.